Okay, so here is a stone. It's a green stone that I have put some uh, sealing wax on the uh, top of the stone just to hold on to it with this uh, stick. And then I've dipped it into wax to coat the bottom of the stone. So now I have the stone uh, with the bottom of it dipped in the wax. And what I'll try to do now is see if I can't get the wax off of the stone without breaking the wax. When you're working with the wax, it's very, it's very fragile and it's very heat sensitive and so I have to kind of keep it warm with my fingers or, or lights or uh, if it's you know, warm during the summer, it's easier to work with. In the winter, it's, the wax is very brittle. So here I am, I'm trying to see if I can't pull this right <clears throat> stone out of the wax. There we go. Okay, so there's the stone. Here's the wax that was over the bottom of the stone. Okay, so I'm going to put the, I put the stone back in the wax. So what I'm going to do now is, I'm going to take some sticky wax, and I'm going to put it here on my ring mandrel, okay? So we'll put the stone, say, right there, so it'll stay. And then I'll light my alcohol lamp and... Here's some pieces of wax wire that I've made. I have a, a special um, injector in the basement that I can formulate a wax to be really soft or really hard. So by mixing different waxes together, I can get a real, you know, the kind of wax that I need for whatever I'm doing. And then in this particular, um, these particular shapes were generated just like you do for like, you know, a cake decorator where you're squeezing the um, wax out of the end of a, a, a die and it'll squeeze the wax out into the shape of this, this wax wire. And I have big ones and little ones, here's a little bit bigger wire. We're going to work with this piece here. And I've, I work it with my fingers or I can run it over the alcohol lamp a little bit just to, to get it nice and flexible. So let's, let's start. I'm just going to wrap the wax around the ring mandrel and then I'm going to attach the wax to the this is the band that I'm going to attach to the, the part of the, of the design that's the base for the stone. Okay, so first we want to just, I usually start by just getting the band onto the design. Now I may take this off and put it back on a number of times just depending on what I want to do aesthetically. Let's see, I'll turn it this way so it's a little easier for you to see when I do it again. Okay, so let's try it another time here. Don't want to get in the way here so you can see what I'm actually doing. Takes a minute or so for the wax to set up. I mean, it's like um, uh, working in clay a little bit because, I mean, you can put it on or you can take it off. So you've got that add and subtract thing going. So I'm just going to try to build up a little bit of the design here on the side. Okay, let's turn around on the other side and we'll try to do the same thing over here. Not exactly the same thing. I'm going to go for something that's asymmetrical. That's non-symmetrical. Some designs I do are, have a symmetrical you know, look to them and 
that is probably I think is a little easier to do because you're just in the trying to match it up on both sides, make it look the same. When you're doing something that's asymmetrical, I think it takes a little bit more um, looking at it from a lot of different angles to try to get it to where you feel like it's balanced. Try to keep the, you know, keep it moving so that um, I don't get hung up in one spot and I find that if I keep moving around then it, it'll get more, it gets more, it's easier for me to balance the piece out. If I just work in one spot for a while I might, you know, that, that area might look real good and then I turn around and look, you know, terrible. So I've just found that working all over the piece at the same time really works better for me to arrive at a an end product that I'm really happy with. I have a negative shape in the flask and we're gonna fill that negative shape up with metal and in this case it's gonna be silver so I've got my uh, um, my uh, penny weight over here and here's some ingots of, um, of silver so I can weigh those to tell I got like that's 20 penny weights that's an ounce so I'm going to take that uh, those ingots and put them in the flat in the, the casting crucible over here okay so we've got the, the ingots in the crucible and I'm going to light my torch and I'm going to start applying some heat to it. I'm putting on some flux. The flux keeps oxygen away from the surface of the metal and keeps the metal from oxidizing it. Because um, we don't want the metal, when it heats up and oxidizes, that's actually rust. So we want to try to keep the metal as pure and as clean as possible. And the flux helps us to keep the metal clean and it also traps any impurities, any oxides will be caught in the surface of the flux. And we can skim those away right before we're ready to cast. Okay, so now here we are, we got the metal in a molten state. It's just like mercury. If you can look, see how it's, it's very, very shiny and it's very much like a liquid at this point. There's just a little bit of uh, debris on the top and I'll try to skim that off of the top so that we got our metal nice and clean. Okay, so there's the metal in the in our uh, crucible and it's all melted, ready to go. Now I'm going to come over here and I'm going to open up the kiln and with a pair of tongs I'm going to reach in and grab, let's see, Gotta get the right one here first. Okay, there's one right here. There's the end with the, you can see those holes, that's where the metal's gonna go. Okay, and we're gonna put it in over here in the in the centrifuge with the metal. Gonna heat the metal up just a little bit more. Make sure we got it right up to temperature. You can see that, see how shiny it is. This is over close to 1700 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, now I'm releasing the pin on the centrifuge, so now it's armed. And now I'm gonna get, swing this back and forth, and then I'm gonna let go. Okay, there it is. Now the metal has gone into the flask and filled up that negative shape where the wax was and it is at this point it is starting to turn from a liquid back into a solid it's actually a solid right now